Hey, thanks for watching this video. There's more at Embark Online. You can tweet me, and there is the pie guy. All right, this is third grade, module seven, lesson 24. Now, parents and teachers, in this lesson, the, the, the video is really gonna focus on the homework, but the, the class activity is actually pretty fun. Students are gonna be uh, given some constraints. They're given a bunch of rectangle perimeters, and those rectangle perimeters are, the students are gonna use those perimeters to build um, body parts for the robot, arms, body, length, uh, leg, head, all that sort of stuff, given these various perimeters. Uh, and then the homework is really just kind of uh, extension on, on that topic, perimeter, but it has nothing to do with the robots. So uh, parents and teachers, if you're watching this video to prepare for your lesson, this video isn't going to help because the lesson and the homework are two totally different things for this lesson. So I'm going to start on the uh, talking about the homework. So let's get started. All right, so here we've got Brian, and Brian draws a square with a perimeter of 24 inches. What is the width and length of that square? Okay, so the first thing we need to remember is, all right, he's drawing a square with a perimeter of 24 inches. So let's start by drawing the square. So the square is going to look like roughly like that, all right, and then um, we want a perimeter of 24. So using that, we remember that perimeter is two times the length plus the width. So remember, so for this square, if we add the length and the width, that's going to give us this part and then we have to double it, and that gives us this part, and that gives us the perimeter, the total of that. So the length plus the width has to equal 12. And this length plus this width has to equal 12. Um, and that's because 12 plus 12 is 24. That's the perimeter that we want. So each side, uh, 24 divided by 2, equals 12. So each pair, the length plus the width, has to equal 12. Now, the idea is it's a square. Since it's a square, that means the length and the width have to be the same. Length and the width have to be the same. Well, if they have to be the same and they have to equal 12, that means each side is a 6. So what's the width and the length of this square? It's six. So width equals six inches, and the length equals six inches. So here, a rectangle has a perimeter of 18 centimeters. Estimate to draw as many different rectangles as you can that have a perimeter of 18 centimeters. So remember, if we're talking about uh, let's see, a perimeter, so we know that perimeter is equal to 2 times the length plus the width, and if we're told that the perimeter, so here's a rectangle, and remember, the length plus the width has to be 9, and then the other length and the width also has to be 9 because we know that the perimeter is supposed to be 18 and that's how we're going to get um, that's how we're going to get a perimeter of 18 is if this length and this width is 9 and this length and this width is 9. Okay. So we need to find all the lengths plus the widths that equal 9. So all the lengths and all the widths that have a combination that equals 9. So what plus what equals 9. Well, that's pretty straightforward. 1 plus 8 equals 9. 2 plus 7 equals 9. 3 plus 6 equals 9. 4 plus 5 equals 9. And that's all the combinations right there. 
It's all the combinations that equal nine. Uh, so there's four different rectangles. How many different rectangles could we draw? We could draw four of them. A one by eight, a two by seven, so that's really skinny. One by eight, two by seven, three by six, and four by five. That's kind of almost looking like a perfect square. All right? And that's our strategy is we knew that the length plus width has to equal nine, and so we found all the combinations that equal nine. All right, so this is kind of like more of the same. We are supposed to find a possible width and length that matches this rectangle. So in this case, our rectangle, rectangle A, has a perimeter of six. Well, if rectangle A has a perimeter of six, that means the length plus the width has to be three because the other length and the other width is also three. And so what's a combination of length and width that give us three? How about one plus two? So one by two is one possible rectangle. So let's take a look at the at rectangle. So I'm gonna put A here. So that's A, rectangle A. So now let's take a look at rectangle B. So rectangle B has a perimeter of 10. So here is our rectangle B, and it has a perimeter of 10, which means length plus width must be 5, and then the other length plus width has to equal 5. So what is a combination of length plus width that equals five. Well, one combination of length plus width that equals five is we could do two plus three, or we could have done one and four. I think I'll stick with two and three just because it's kind of an interesting number uh, combination. So two and three. There's our width and length of a perimeter, of a rectangle that has a perimeter of 10. And then lastly, we have, uh, let's see, right here. Rectangle C is supposed to have a perimeter of 14. So rectangle C is supposed to have a perimeter of 14. Well, 14 divided by two is seven. So the length and width has to equal seven and the other length and width has to equal seven because that gives us our perimeter of 14. So what combination gives us seven? Oh, well, we could do two and five. That gives us seven, so we could do two by five. That's not the only possible answer. We could have done some other ones. There are other combinations that equal seven. So um, parents and teachers, be aware, you're gonna have to accept a variety of different correct answers. And that wraps up third grade, module seven, lesson 24. Uh, in class, the students are building a robot, but the homework, is really talking about a variety of different rectangles and their perimeters.